Hello everybody, welcome back to Factorio. So, we are going to tap in a bit more into this uh, iron mine. And I'm trying to see if there's more iron that's accessible. Uh, and it doesn't look like that's the case. So, that is going to have to be something we consider uh, to be a problem. Because this doesn't actually fly right now. Uh, this is actually too little... Uh, mines for this stuff. And the thing is, if you tap into another one, this coal might start running out too, but it's absolutely nothing we can do. Uh, in order to upgrade our usage here, we gotta, we gotta tap into more iron. And this is why, actually, I started next to one, one of these iron things, because it's just, uh, there was no other way of, of accomplishing this. Uh, but it would appear that I, I don't even have iron near me anyway, so we're gonna just do something like... We're gonna cheat and just have these things make it for us. Cause right now Right now I'm I'm mad, so no, I'm not mad, but Alright. We're just gonna have this make a, a couple. We just need we do we need a bit more steel and unfortunately we're just not getting the steel that we, we desperately need right now. Uh, but we're gonna, but we, we're just gonna have that work right now as we work on our other mines. This is gonna be something else I actually edit out as well. I've been pretty good about that, I think. Like, at least, at least things you've seen but me do already. We're just gonna make as many of these as we can. We just, there's no other way of doing this. Because, uh, as you can, you saw when I was doing my military science how everything in the factory just stopped because iron was such, such a problem. The reason it's not doing that now is because this is basically all backed all the way up, except for the fact that for some reason it's not grabbing anymore. What the fuck? Oh, because gears aren't here. I guess. Yeah, it already has, uh, except for this one. This one apparently never worked. Whoops. So, why are gears not coming down over here? Because gears never make it to the end, or what? No, it's because it got destroyed at some point. Well, whoop de fucking do Thank you, game. Yeah, they, they, the biters made it through here at one point. That's okay, though. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. It's not a whole lot we can do about that. Uh, sometimes we diagnose problems to our problems. Now, the problem that the problem that this is going to happen is uh, if you have OCD like me. Um, since they destroyed only one, look what happens now. We have this. So what we do is we place this one down, and then we shotgun it a bunch. Okay, apparently we don't do that. Alright. Okay, so let's put it inside. Just, let's just shove it in the corner here, alright? And we're gonna just forget about that. It's gonna be like an Easter egg. This is a lot of biter corpses. But as you can see, like, the, the exclamation mark now is going on, but... The thing is, it, they're not actually making it to the turrets anymore. Because flamethrowers are fucking baller as shit. So, it, we're getting, we have enough crude oil now, so we, we have a breather. Like, we have a moment to actually build shit now. It's a Christmas miracle. Um, so, yeah, this stuff is going, we have like a couple of miners now. So, we're going to need more, we have actually abundance of belts. We just need more. As I say, it's just... Dude, the, the, you might as well just call this Factorio the Quest for more iron. Like, that's that's what this that's what Death World is basically about. And as I said, I, I I don't know quite how to fix this problem. There is a way to fix this, like how this is working, but uh, I'm not too sure. I can't exactly load balance it right now. Because you see, these ones never never saturate completely. I mean, actually, you know what the best solution is? We're working on logistics too, we just put a red belt at the end. Uh, so that, that will work. Uh, actually, how is our science doing? I should say. It is going beautifully, uh, but it's going slowly because we need the research speed upgrades, which we will do next. Um, in fact, I don't even see a reason why we shouldn't maybe do that right now. I mean, that's not... Like, it's slow enough, so fuck it. We'll do, we'll do the research speed upgrades. It's not like red belts are going to be a major game changer here. So, uh, okay, I saw something was being damaged, but I actually didn't get to see it fast enough. What are our radars doing, I wonder? I guess this is the maximum range of the radars. Yeah, they're just rescanning things now. So, 
uh, like I said before, we're gonna change this up so that we uh, we we basically fully saturate a, f a one line here, and then yeah, that's that's just how we have to do things now. So uh, yeah, see you after in a bit. Oh wait, no, never mind. Oh, there's shit there, and they didn't do anything. So fuck them. All right, lads, I'm just cutting a couple trees. Which is, uh, we're gonna also make a couple more tools just in case. It does stack up, so it's like fine. Alright, so I'll show you what I did with regards to these furnaces. So we have another line here, furnaces. Uh, this should be enough to last us until later in the game. Um, like, obviously it's never enough uh, in games like this. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's how it's gonna work. So the way it's gonna work is this is gonna plug in here, but this guy I want to plug in somewhere down here. Um, so, this is gonna be fucking weird. I'm, I've already, I already hate how this looks, so let's just fucking mess with this and... I mean, it, it's a little bit of spaghetti right now, but, uh, the golden rule of the factory is everything's temporary and I'm just trying to get, uh, resources where they need to go. So, that's that. So, uh, we'll, we will improve this in time, um... You can call it poor planning on my part, I don't, I don't, I don't know. So, we kind of want this coming from the main bus, sort of, in, a, in its own way. Uh, we want to do this. There's actually a good reason for this. So we want, we want the splitter to basically be able to pick it up from a bunch of other things we want it. So, okay, the main bus, so the way the iron priority should work is it should go to the gears. And the, and, the, and the steel kind of first-ish, if possible, and then to everything else that's needed. That's kind of the hope and dream. So just to show you how the, 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 the mines work now, they work like this. This does mean we're going to mine this out much faster, but this is starting to run out as it is anyways. So it's just a reality of the situation. However, we shouldn't be using quite as much uh, ammunition anymore. And hey, here we go. We get to see some action here. Look at this fucking attack, though. So you get, kind of get to see, holy shit, they're confused. So because the fire's on the ground, they kind of just kind of walk right into the flames. And it means the turrets aren't actually spending that much to get rid of them. Um, and, uh, you, you know, this is something I haven't actually uh, iterated on yet. Uh, the, the, it's kind of a funny part of this game. So trees are not a renewable resource, believe it or not, in this. Once the trees go down, they're, they're done. They're gone. Um... However, however, uh, oil is a renewable resource. Oil never actually runs out. It just, the, the, the crude oil just gets more and more depleted. So right now it's expecting 9.6, 8.9. I think it goes down to about one or something like that per second. One unit per second kind of deal. Um, yeah, funny shit, huh? It's not a renewable resource. Uh, we need more, some more stone bricks though. So that's kind of, that's just kind of how that works. Um, kind of kind of interesting. Uh, so we're gonna get what the fuck died? Oh, they made it through there. Okay, let's go up. Oh right, that place. Uh, yeah. Fuck! Don't touch my grenades, you fucks! Kill them all. All right. They have found the grenade line. Did we actually lose anything? It was just being... Wait, it says objects were destroyed, so it means some things were destroyed here. Oh my god, they fucking did a number on this place. Oops. All right, let's do that. What else got destroyed? Uh, when objects are being damaged. The, who the fuck made it past this? Someone isn't doing their job here. Actually, these are all running out of ammo now. But that's fine, because we, we trust this a little bit better now. And so we're just trying to upgrade our steel, because we couldn't upgrade our steel before, because we were utilizing all of those resources uh, at one point. So these are now going as fast as they can with regards to green research, green science now. We just kind of have to check every single one, yeah. They're, they're A-OK. -okay. Jeez. Alright. 
I can't exactly tell what actually is not working right now, so... Oh, we did lose an inserter here. I know that much. We gotta repair some of these. This is something that you don't like spending time on. So because they didn't attack here, we're actually gonna turret it up a little bit. You can tell that the turrets are all good there now, too. Um, we need to build it more upward, though. Like, up here. I know. I mean, there's still this place here, but... Uh, let's just build, like, right here. And to keep a keep a stack for myself. So they're still gonna attack that bottom one there, and that's okay with me. Um, we also have an abundance of copper, so copper is not something we have to particularly worry about right now. So we're we're still creating flamethrower turrets, and there's actually no reason for us to stop making flamethrower turrets, believe it or not, because that's going to be a primary part of our defensive means. Uh, let's just go down here somewhere. Maybe down there somewhere. Maybe maybe we should go this way actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, just go somewhere over here. There you go. So something's being damaged, and it's the flamethrower turret over there. Yeah. See, they do a very... They, they're actually extremely effective, so we don't have to worry too much about that anymore. Jeez. Oh, it's constantly here. It's a bunch of stuff. Alright. So, what do we do now? Um, we start to... So, we're doing the lab research, and we're going to head towards um, some more fluid dynamic stuff. So, I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this little zone here actually a little bit so actually I don't see a reason why we shouldn't actually have like a, a bunch of turrets on hand at all times so I now just picked up 30 turrets you know just casually just like that I don't know why green science became such a problem here I think it was not getting a resource and then yeah it just uh, it then exploded um, all right we're gonna we're gonna also upgrade our steel lines and just as I set out as I was going to do that, uh, I just realized that these are actually too far, too far forward. So I don't like this. I actually really don't like moving things around like this because it, I'm just asking to get attacked while I'm fucking messing with this. <laughs> I don't like it. All right, what, what kind of ammo do they have? Yeah, they had that kind of ammo. Okay. And I guess one can have like this kind of ammo. Fine. You guys win. So if you, if I didn't sell you on flamethrower turrets, I, I certainly hope that in time you will get sold. Uh, where is it at? Oh, it's, oh, oh, it was going up here. I see. Oh, we can just remove these walls now. I guess we'll make the, whoops, not steam engine, shit. Well, I guess we'll need steam engine soon, actually. So actually, it's not bad that I did that. I might plug in another group. And speaking of which, let's actually look at our coal. Coal is still good for now. Uh, we gotta be ready, we gotta, we actually have to do that ahead of time, uh, prepare our coal. And it's mostly gonna be when we go to laser tech that we're gonna basically get the coal going there. Because we have to be absolutely ready to potentially have to deal with that. Alright, hopefully they're not going to come from anywhere else other than that. Uh, yeah, we've kind of burned that, that forest to the ground, but that's okay. We're going to just upgrade our steel production because we're using steel actually far more often than we were before. And also, did I run out of inserters? I totally ran out of inserters. Luckily, up here, we actually have a box full of them. Just kind of yoink that and that's it. I, I kind of enjoy watching this. So yeah, anything that has a lot of attacks, we just kind of, uh, we bring more uh, defenses over. But lasers is actually the next uh, level uh, for for this uh, for this upgrade because um, lasers don't require ammunition, they just require power. They require a great deal of power, but um, it makes it a more permanent uh, solution to our problems with regards to um, biters and stuff, because lasers are very... They're, I wouldn't say they're end game, they're mid game. 
Um, Blue Science is also mid game. Uh, so we're so that yes, that does mean we're still in early game. We're what is it? T part ten. This is this is early game still. Um, for marathon mode, it is particularly uh, early game. We may need more steel than this. I I have no shame in breaking out a bunch of this stuff. I want to. I actually just want two more of these. How many more bricks do I have? I have a lot, so let's just do. Let's do one more row of this shit. There you go. So we're gonna do one more row. So we just basically doubled our our supplies here. Unfortunately, it might mean that the it may not actually get enough uh, uh, iron to the to the end anymore. But I mean, I, I figured that might become a problem, and that I'll just solve it when I get to that stage. We'll see. As because now it's actually for a change. Like it's all it's all coming in. So I didn't actually plan that out entirely. So it's whatever. What, what ingredients do you need? So. All right, so I didn't upgrade any of these yet. So I figure that's actually a good idea to do right now. Apparently you need iron plates for this. So upgrading these means it frees us up for a little bit more. Uh, well, they're gonna make the green chips a little bit faster. It's just something I need to do at some point um, They make a little bit less pollution if I recall. Yeah, just slightly less but more energy consumption So they're okay Eventually we're gonna move around these but I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm willing to do that quite yet We're still we're still good What's likely gonna happen is we're gonna just reserve this place for like red chips and shit uh, All right, so next next thing on our list is we do oil, and we do tons of it. So oil, oil, as you guys know, is definitely one of the harsher things. Yeah, we're gonna we're aiming for two things of uh, two two groups of uh, flamethrower turrets. Like, there's no reason not to build that many because we're gonna be using them later on in our in our little build here. So because we're because now we we need the steel, uh, we just upgrade the steel. So that's good. So we're just going to take all the pump jacks we possibly can. And uh, how many steam engines am I up to? All right, we can make one more and another boiler. Yeah, this is what we like to see. We like to see all our resources being used here, kind of. And hopefully, we also like to see us not running out of them, so, you know. Now, I kind of put the crude oil here, and I'm not sure if that was an error. But, you know, we'll figure that out. We can actually totally make another four of these. Let's see, where's my boilers? Two more boilers. Whoops. This is not looking in the right direction. Like I said, it won't actually use the resources yet. Apparently this was not even plugged in. Neither was this one. Actually, no, I displaced them. That's why they weren't plugged in. All right. So how's our power situation doing now? All right, so this is not something we have to worry about for a little bit of time now. Um, we're still making walls, but there's absolutely no reason to deviate from that. It's should just make walls. We don't need stone bricks for anything. Stone bricks come in handy a little later, but not right now. All right, so we got that. Now, now we just make pump jacks. What else do we need? More steel plates, of course. Now, you know, you could always put these this shit into chests and stuff. Um, I like I like the strategy of just holding down F while I uh, run down run down belts. It's not the most efficient uh, thing to do, but it's the most fun. So you know, screw you. All right, so this is this is looking pretty good. Uh, how many walls do we have left? A hundred, and we got thirty turrets. We need more ammunition though, actually. So luckily, because we uh, did upgrade our our steel, uh, that box that I had full of ammunition should actually have more ammunition now. Yeah, like two hundred and sixty-one rounds. There you go. 
it's at the end of the line, so it, it, uh, military science uses it first, but if you're producing it all in one place, you might as well just, like, just, just put into chests once in a while. It's kind of how I work. Alright, so the plan here... So we have giant oil fields, uh, which we can't see really. Um, so oh, let's just look at the map overlay. So I think the plan is to make like a larger defensive structure right here, like a fort or whatever. Uh, and then one on this side as well. Maybe like one here and then one here or something. Like just covering basically the left, the right, and the, and the bottom. And if we do that, I think we'll be okay. And yeah, this is like a, a staging area for them. But I don't really feel compelled to come after them. Alright, let's let this attack kind of go. You see, they have like weird pathing decisions here. So, I'll just let them do their thing. Okay, this time they, they decided to split it up. I'm not sure why. Yeah, flamethrowers are just amazing. All right, so since it's day now, well, not since it's day, but whatever. Oh, shit. Okay, where did you guys come from? So you guys want to hear a bit about how mechanics work? I don't even know why I'm asking you guys, because uh, obviously I'm just going to tell you how some of the mechanics work in this game. So how do some of the mechanics work in this game with regards to... Uh, so how do the biters make nests? So basically the way it works is every every few minutes they um, The biters send out a scout a scouting party and the scouting party um, Generally speaking consists of just like a couple of biters and um, th This scouting party will go and go to a, a designated chunk or whatever wherever on the map that it thinks is a good candidate for an expansion and they will run there, and then they will, uh, if nothing attacks them, if they don't get attacked or killed, um, then they will they will expand there into like a, just a small base, and they'll grow and grow as uh, as as you leave it alone. Um, and that's how biter expansion works in this game. Um, so, and I realized this kind of uh, well, I, I kind of looked up how it looked, uh, how how biters worked with regards to that. Um, I looked, I looked it up, and so my first Death World was basically the strategy was to uh, um, basically make a bunch of outposts on the on the outlying areas and don't let pollution cloud cloud reach them at any point. And by doing that, I basically one basically I teched up and just kept my pollution footprint low. I went solar, I went efficiency modules. I did all that stuff that maybe was suggested a couple times. Um, I haven't seen it too much, but it's one of those things that you have to actually play this scenario to understand why it's so difficult. And the reason it's so difficult is just for the reason that you cannot do that strategy. You cannot lay low. You have to kind of be aggressive and go right out to where they are. Actually, what the fuck are we doing? That's what grenades are for. Yeah, grenades for clearing trees. As I said, trees are like the enemies in this game. Besides the biters. I don't know, I'd prefer to fight trees than, than biters, honestly. I mean, that's kind of the way I do play this game, honestly. Um, I, I either like to play with the biters all the way up or off. I don't, I don't, I don't really do the middle road. Uh, so this is, right now you're watching, obviously, biters all the way up. But All right, let's see here. Flamethrower turrets. So how did I do that one? I kind of had them facing, like, opposite directions kind of thing. Whoops. I actually don't remember how I did that. Yeah, I kind of did it like this. Something like that, okay. Uh, do I have more ammo? Of course I have more ammo. What kind of question is that? It's all I ever have. There you go. So we just hope that they're gonna go for the little bases here. So this is why we have these little corner things. It will cover all the angles. Uh, let's go. This is gonna have to hook into this one anyways. Like I said, uh, Factory is a game about securing oil. And by the way, it's fine that if you just do all, like, get all the mines right away, because guess what? You don't actually use resources, you don't actually mine the resources that you don't use. They just stays in the ground, so 
It's a it's a very satisfying game, a satisfying game in the sense that you don't waste anything ever. So let's do some elaborate systems like this. Just trying trying to bring the oil down. It's being damaged. Yeah, they're they're hitting that occasionally, but don't worry. I like every time I come down there, I'll just like, I'll give it like the better stuff, the better oil. I started up better oil. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking of oil right now. Um, we're gonna give it the better resources because we can. All right, let's uh, let's do something like this. This is all gonna plug into the same system anyway, so might as well. And this is why it was nice that we started with an oil field next to us, but if there was one like somewhere down here, it would have actually been achievable to get. Uh, like, what the fuck? Oh fuck, dude. It's even, that's getting even worse now up there. I think one of the things ran out of ammo there. Oh my god, they all ran out of ammo. Uh, yeah, they're, they're in the blind spot now, so... Okay, guys. Fuckers. That's like, do you know how many engine components that is? Actually, I don't even have enough to, to restock that. Ow, fire. It's painful. Yeah, they destroyed one of the flamethrower turrets. Luckily, we have more being made at all times, so... Not a big deal to us. We've been through worse situations. Man, I was hoping that I would see my steel backing up, but I don't think that's going to happen. But we, what we are going to get is we're going to get more flamethrower turrets, so, you know, that's fine. How much more ammunition do we have over here? Good sir. Yeah, there you go. 231 rounds. So it, it it's going. It's going. Um, it's just, it is limited now by how fast you can make steel. And it looks like I cannot make it really go any further than this. Um, unless I get, like, uh, faster belts, which uh, I'm working on. I'm, I'm, I'm actually working on that, so. I'll probably, I'll probably fast belt that up. So the faster belts, by the way, is doubles the speed of the belts, um, but they cost more resources. So it's like, do you want to spend more resources on this garbage? Maybe not. Um, you just use it in very key areas that you need to rush things out. Uh, looks like that one right now. All right, and not a moment too soon. Yeah, we might actually go out there and see what the fuck's going on, because there's a lot of uh, attacks. Don't worry, I have I have turrets and stuff with me and grenades. So we're going to actually head out here. Maybe it's just like the pollution cloud is... Maybe it's just this base right here. It's causing an issue. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, is that a base down there? Yeah, it is. All right. We will lay low and allow them to leave. I have fish, right? I do not have fish. Okay, let's go get fish first, because that's fucking freaking me out now. So that would be why that they're attacking me there. So frequently. Um, the radars dropped the ball, and were supposed to uh, uh, tell me of these things, but they don't. Can I get the fish over here? Fuck. Yeah, there you go. We need some healing fish. Get over you piece of shit. There you are. Fish. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I'm just gonna walk through the fire because that's a reasonable thing to do. Ah, they're smart. They're going where the biters are. These fish. We're gonna probably use these things. Ah, uh, this is also running out of ammo. As I said, we're still good for now. Uh, could probably use some ammo here too. Because if we have more of this stuff, then they're going to basically break through the front line kind of thing, so. Uh, we could also make our own flamethrowers as well. I mean, that works. But we have grenades, so that's fine. Okay, this is also taking a beating, this place. Maybe every place should have two flamethrower turrets. I don't know. I, I, I feel like... I don't want to spend too much resources on that because we want to i will take out the base but i probably won't do anything above that i mean i i've been kind of knowing that those things are that right there so 
It's all time. Yeah, we're gonna work on some other stuff before I, I need the car, honestly. The car the car is like almost a necessity in this game. Because I'm lazy and don't want to run around. I mean, well we're gonna be running around our base, but we're not I don't wanna be running around like other shit. Alright. So if I go down there, maybe I should do a save just before we continue. Fucking just start saving over some of these other saves I have. Um, so if I go down here, how fucked am I? Okay, we're doing, well, it looks like we're pretty good. Now we could bring flamethrower turrets here. All right, so now they're mad. Uh, I need armor, actually. Good, we have heavy enough for heavy armor. Let's put that on. Heavy armor is better than light armor. I don't know if I, that really need to be explained to you. Okay, uh, that's that's fucking hurts. By the way, this is the only way I know of, of actually dealing with this shit. Turret hopping is like the best strategy um, uh, I've ever invented, not by me, I, I won't claim credit. Or maybe I will, I don't actually know, did I think of that? No, I think of Pat thought of it. I think when I played with Pat the first time he did that. So Pat's a fucking genius, what can I say? Alright, let's take out some of these other stupid ass nests. We're just gonna eat this biter. There you go. What the fuck? You're not dead? There you go. Grenades will do the job. So we got that nest. I wanna see what's just above me, and then, uh, then I think we're good. I don't think I have to touch on this anymore. It's the ones that are close to me which cause a problem. So that's an expansion, and you can tell you can actually tell because it actually has a shit ton of worms in there. Because it's, it's basing its base based upon evolution factor and not based upon uh, sensible things. All right, yeah, here's another base. So we're gonna let them fuck around and do whatever they want. So you can tell like it just it kind of just appears on my map. They also really like to attack from this as well. So. But we actually have a moment, and we have armor-piercing rounds, too, so... We're gonna just wait for this to go. Or I could just grenade it, that works, too. Um, I think I'd prefer to save the grenades, so let's just let, let them go. Maybe we'll just go over here for a sec. Kind of go up a little bit, see if we can see anything else. I don't know, have a good time. Can they go fucking attack already? But yeah, they generally like to attack towards your base, because they don't want to settle next to other... Uh, so yeah, that's one of the things, so continuing on the mechanics of that, they, they don't want to settle next to other spawners. So they prefer to go towards your base, uh, particularly towards the pollution. Um, it's kind of what they do. So this, this should drastically reduce the attacks coming from here. And I can already tell that there's something over there that's not nice, so... Can they fucking go? Dude, is that not enough? Uh, it probably isn't, but you know... It can go. Yeah, iron. Iron is going to be the very first challenge we're going to have to deal with, and we have to we have to train it in. Uh, f from where I don't know, uh, pr preferably not that one. Let me tell you that. Um, a, a good way of determining this is we can scout with um, uh, radars uh, when we get solar, um, but it may not be possible. I would have to see. Are they not still leaving? Fucking okay, there they go. Now they're gone. All right, all right, all right. Surprise! I realized I didn't put this one. put grenades right in the center of this thing. They'll eventually die. Alright. Yeah, you you go you go back home. Actually I think he I think he was attacking because there was like a spawner right up here. What the fuck? I didn't even see him. 